There's the jab of Richelle. That's his best weapon. You know, he learned that. Great combination there behind the jab. He learned that from the... Range finding, see if a right hand comes behind it. A combination that time from Burchell. He's a good combination puncher. Likes to finish with that hook. Right here in the midst of round number one, told the top ten among active fighters in opponents' landing percentage. That's good work with the left hand downstairs and then upstairs from Burchell. The referee, Jay Nady, with another warning for Burchell. Right hand comes in from Vargas. Good combination, and it finishes with a left hand that sends Vargas slightly off balance to the left. That's a terrible, terrible habit that's never been corrected in his training camps. A good left uppercut in the midst of that. A beautiful combination sequence right there from Rochelle. Vargas putting the earmuffs on, and what do you do when a guy put the earmuffs on? You either come around the defense or come underneath it. That's exactly what Burchell did. Chopping right hand from Vargas has met with a five-punch combination from the champ. Burchell right now just really headhunting right now, Dre. He's not investing in the body work right now to slow down Vargas. Well, I was just getting ready to say that the key for both guys, Vargas and Burchell. Jay Nady, the referee, just tripped as he was going around, and that's the reaction from the crowd. <laughs> Nady waves the press hand, I'm all right. Meanwhile, the infighting continues they between Vargas <laughs> and Burchell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo, but like I was saying, in a fight like this, when they're going toe to toe, and both fighters are taking the other one's headshots well, the key is the body. That's what's going to open up. So look for the body work from both guys in this fight. And you see that shot to the liver for Burchell. Definitely got Vargas' attention. Never invest to the body the way they're supposed to, they're going to have more success up top. Yeah. Right there for a moment, it's Burchelt again as he doubled up that left hand. This is high-level offensive stuff. But there's a lot of skill involved right here as well. You see him blocking shots off the elbows, coming back, countering, trying to punch in between. There is some skill in this infighting right here. Burchelt told us he was going to box in the fighter meeting. Yeah, that lasted long. <laughs> I didn't believe him. They only know one way, and especially when you put them opposite each other. It is so much fun to watch, isn't it? Look at that, shoulder to shoulder, well in the way. Burchelt goes upstairs that time with a right and then a sweeping left hand. Burchelt landed those clean shots because he started down low and he came back upstairs. Got to wear him. You got to wear him down, Dre. Oh, there was a straight right hand to the body that split the guard. And what does Vargas do? He keeps inching forward time and again. End of two as they keep racking up these CompuBox stats. Unbelievable. For Vargas. Now he needs to follow it up with combinations to the head and body. Left uppercut followed by a left hook from Burchelt as Vargas presses forward. Oh, and there's a good left hand to the body from Burchell. The reason why the body is so important in a fight like this is because both guys are tough. Both guys can take it to the head. But when you start landing downstairs like Burchell just did, anytime you faint down there, it's going to open up the head. And you're going to get the shot that you were looking for anyway. Punches. Right. The opponent is, is supposed to protect himself at all times. As Jay Nady warns him. Back to business center of the ring now. Uppercut. Hook combination from Burchell. Burchell. That's what he's doing. 34-year-old Vargas against the 27-year-old Burchell. Those uppercuts are coming from Burchell because... Gives the warning with using the head from Vargas, and you can see redness now around the head. Remember, in the last two fights, he hasn't opened up. Cuts have always been an issue in his career. Surgery to remove some scar tissue to get down to that third level of the hyperdermis and close these up properly. Combination punching, both men scoring upstairs. End of three as advertised. And it relates to this fight right here between Burchell and Vargas because he's going after the WBO Junior Lightweight title. It's Masayuki Ito, who's an all-offense fighter himself. We saw his thrilling win against Diaz. He's out at distance and he uses his jab and comes behind with the combinations, blinding combinations like that. But the minute he stops, here comes Vargas. He comes back with his own assault to the head and body on Burchell. Again, every time Vargas dips that head forward, watch for the uppercut from Burchell. There he goes to the body with the left hand. Tried to get that right uppercut, comes back a second time with it, crosses over with a short left hook on the inside. Just pay attention to the right elbow of Vargas. Look how it lifts up every now and then in the inside. 
We call that the chicken wing. It, it kind of flares out a little bit. Look for Rachel to make him pay with the left hook to the liver. The only thing is the cuts. If he gets more damage on his face, and then, and then we have a problem there. Even when he's getting done to the body? Even on the body, he's fine. I asked him right now, he's okay to the body. You know, Joel always comes in with a good game plan. You know, and he gives his fighter enough knowledge needed to get the job done. And they just have to follow suit and do what he asked him to do. The guy who throws more is usually the younger guy. Vargas is fighting pretty well. It's just that Burchelt is fighting better. It's not just the two years since the last fight. It's the seven years that separate both fighters. Look at Andre Ward's card as it stands right now. 39-37 for Burchelt, who has thrown to this point 471 punches and enjoys a 184-96 to connect advantage. Great combination sequence right there from Vargas. You know, he's hungry. He's determined. He wants his belt back. And he's fighting every minute of every round. Only problem is, like I said earlier, he's fighting a younger version of yes. himself. So whatever he does right now, Burchelt does it best. He's throwing more punches than Vargas. And every time Vargas gets some steam, Burchelt does just like that and takes the play away from Vargas. He's throwing more punches than just about anybody we're used to seeing. When you look at what Burchelt is doing, it's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Alfredo Caballero said, I want him to go with a straight right to the bottom. And I don't even think they strayed that low, to be honest with you, Bernardo. And so for round five here, back and forth they go. Vargas has had a few moments here in round five, but it's always the same for Burchelt. And there he is getting around that right elbow, as you noted, Tim. Yeah. Getting around that right elbow. Problem that Vargas has, he stands mid-range. He can't stand mid-range and let Burchelt extend like that. He needs to be all the way in. But I love how Vargas is coming back with his own combinations, Dre. He's taking some right now, but just watch. He's going to come back with his own combination. Swelling, it's getting more significant mm. around the left eye of Vargas as he eats another headshot here as we come to the end of round five and another thriller between these two. There were cuts that were so vicious in their first fight and they really compromised his defense and that's when Burchell picked things up on the second half. Um, Not necessarily a bad thing for him though, right at this well, stage of his career. I was just about to say that. He's a guy who's been in two fight of the years yes. in 2015 to 2016 if I'm not mistaken and an older fighter needs rest. Yeah. He needs to go sit down, yeah. <laughs> recharge, see if he's going to be in a fight like this against Burchell. Look at the there is a left hand right to that belt line again. Now that one may have strayed low. Yeah, but you see the double up on the shots. Burchell now changing the combinations. With that left hook upstairs now, some swelling around the right eye of Vargas. Mm. Tripling up that left hook. Look Ooh. at Burchell on the attack here at the end of six. Halfway point, we can't get enough. All offense all night. You all done? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Hey, you're going to keep up with that, the way.